Hello and welcome back to Indies Education. This video is the fifth tutorial of Python computer vision based Raspberry Pi robot. Developing this robot, I took modular approach of code development. I used virtual robotic Copilia Sim VREV for testing my algorithm. I have been working on this project for a while and this is the final product. More precisely, I go to my website. So, I develop this robot in parallel development. In this way, I use the virtual robot to test all of my developed code to get the camera feedback, of course, the virtual camera. And based on the outcome, I transfer this code to my physical robot. To this robot so this is the virtual robot and this is the virtual camera feedback as you can see when i'm confident that all the codes are working i transferred all the codes to my physical robot now let's go get to the virtual robot so this is the full screen of the virtual robot I will just play it now. So if I just play the virtual robot, there's a red blob in front of the ball, which can camera see. As you can see the wall, I just get the window a bit. Yeah, so. As you can see this ball, this ball and the wall is visible on the camera. Now I modified all the child scripts. It just only work with the Python programming code, which I opened in Spider 3 IDE. So this is the complete code. Developing this code, I took modular approach. That means that I I designed and tested individual module of the code such as computer vision aspect is one module and motor control pwm control is another module i made detailed tutorial previously detail for tutorial you can find in my website the whole tutorial i published in my web page this is the whole tutorial with detail instruction and of course, I am ready to help anytime you wish. So these are all the codes. The last one was PWM code generation and implementation in physical Raspberry Pi 4 robot. In this series, I will discuss detail of the virtual robot, the detail code, the detail computer vision and virtual hardware integration. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the code. I use modular approach of defining individual aspect of the function. So these two function does the image processing. There is a image, there is a blob image. Previously, I input in this code. From that, it just measured the ratio of change. Let's play the code, then we can discuss it more further. So the code is on play now in VRAP and I will just get to my Spider 3 ID platform. So if I just play the code, as you can see, as soon as I'm, I'm playing the code, the car is moving and it is measuring, it is measuring that blob in front of it this blob how far it is and its location from the center of the screen so it will be following this way as you can see the blob is slowly slowly moving the reason i kept the speed slow that if it moves too fast the code just crashes because vrap is a delicate product 
you can see my robot it resemble 100 percent to the physical robot so as you can see as you can see at certain distance the robot goes and it just reverse back as you can see uh, if it is less than three feet the robot just reverse back but same time it is also changing its direction as well because the ball is the ball i mean the blob is going left to right so it is tracking it it is trying to keep it at the center position of the screen of its camera of its field of vision and if it is go left it goes the robot goes left if it is go right the robot goes right here you can see it just changed the position now i will open the code up and we will continue our discussion so this modular approach of code development the computer vision aspect here has been defined with the function def definition the detailed code is available just in my website just follow the link provided as you can see real time it is getting the feedback from the camera at the moment the two program is talking to each other and they are using the socket communication protocol to talk to each other they are the two program opened in same computer they can be opened in different computer even in remote computers but there are a certain setting for that that's not the scope of today's discussion these are all vrap application programming interface which you can get more detail in copila sim robotic page now in copila sim robotic page you get all the apis so all the remote apis <coughs> for python programming language This is a good piece of documentation and um, I would just recommend uh, just to read and play with diff different settings that will help you to keep going. My code is working. So this module is basically for camera control, motor control. So the robot has got the virtual camera. So this is the virtual camera as you can see. So the virtual camera provides the feedback and these APIs just manipulate as according to those feedbacks. So error code cam handle equal vrep.cmax get job handle client id cam1 so cam1 is a variable then if the center position is left the motor moves right just to compensate the center location. So in this way the whole robot body just track the object and the whole things the real-time image processing conducted in this while loop so it gets the error code this is a buffer streaming signal so as, as you can see with this api it perform this operation cmx op mode buffer And the array, the image is converted to NumPy array. From there, it is resized. Then the center position is tracked this way. X medium equal integer column divided by two. Center column divided by two. Then HSB. Then RGB to HSB conversion happen. From there is a threshold happen so this is the low rate threshold this is the bgr color coding so blue green and red this is the lower threshold and this part is for higher threshold higher threshold is 179 17, 179 blue 255 g is green and 255 red after that the masking happen 
and that conducted a marker operation. So this is the complete code. I would really recommend you to study this code. The best way to get started is that you have to download VRAP Education version 3.6. This is a legacy version, but certainly if you just Google it, you will find it somewhere in VRAP website. Once you download the VRAP 3.6, you download the whole file containing this robotic image. I mean the VRAP file and the spider IDE code. I mean the Python code. There are also five more files with that and all these files you will get in my article on this location. Let me show you. So here you can see you can download this spider for ID. All my YouTube videos I made regarding this robot. The GitHub repository. Let's explore it. My dissertation paper which is this paper. My whole dissertation paper is available for you. Then you will get this is the file where you can get all the cat files as well as the complete Python code with working video files. So if you just click it, so these are the two files. Even the Autodesk Inventor CAT files, which I made from scratch, is available here as well with Raspberry Pi 4Ks, real time Raspberry Pi 4, the Arduino buggy, the heatsink. Let me show you the heatsink. Oh. Let me just restart the code because it crashes pretty often. Okay, so the heatsink I was talking about, this is the heatsink. Even this heatsink file, all the files, uh, all the cat files you can download uh, from my provided link. This will help you get started at, with cat cam designing and drafting as well. So what else I can say to explain this code? I think that's all for today. If you like my video, I would really request you to help and support me. You can support me in various ways. First of all, you can subscribe, share my content, uh, comment in my content. Uh, that's enough for now. Thank you very much. I'll see you at next time. Cheers.